Yesterday, Israel carried out a rescue mission where they slaughtered hundreds of Palestinian civilians in a refugee camp in Gaza by hiding their soldiers inside of aid trucks so they could infiltrate the camp where they proceeded to slaughter and bombard hundreds of displaced people there, including some of their own hostages, killing nearly as many hostages as they were able to rescue. All of this with the direct help of U.S. soldiers and the humanitarian pier that Biden built on the coast of Gaza. Let's talk about this rescue mission and the Nuseret massacre. Do you remember this pier that Biden built? It cost a quarter billion dollars and it was meant to help get aid to the Palestinians. But yesterday, it was meant for the Israeli occupation forces who used it as staging grounds for their rescue mission, which they've been planning for weeks. In coordination with a US special cell located in Israel, Israeli occupation forces loaded some of their forces onto aid trucks, inside aid trucks, think Trojan horse. After they hid their soldiers inside these aid trucks, they then escorted it with tanks to make it look like a real aid convoy. And that's what you're seeing right here, that aid convoy, that Trojan horse. They drove this Trojan horse into the center of the Nusayret refugee camp, where thousands of displaced Palestinians who just had to evacuate Rafah are taking refuge. And when they got there, they turned it into a bloodbath. Their cover was blown when people started getting suspicious and fighting broke out, but Israel pre-planned to bombard the central market and the Nusayret refugee camp filled with hundreds of civilians going about their day. In addition to that, Israel also bombed the vicinity of the nearby hospital so nobody could get medical attention. Israeli occupation forces were able to evacuate four Israeli hostages. In the process, three additional hostages were killed and Israel used the safe zone around that humanitarian pier to evacuate those hostages. When it was said and done, three Israeli hostages were killed. At least 274 Palestinians were killed, mostly women and children, and 698 people were wounded, mostly women and children again. There is no excuse for this massacre. Those hundreds of civilians did not need to die. What Israel did was trade the lives of four Israelis for three dead Israelis, 274 dead Palestinians, and almost 700 wounded Palestinians, mostly, again, women and children. They destroyed the Nuseret refugee camp and ripped apart the lives of thousands of people and used the humanitarian tool that the pier is meant to be against the Palestinian people. No matter how badly Zionists want to paint this rescue mission as a win for Israel, a win for Zionism, it's just not. The numbers go against it, and your humanity does as well. Israel has failed here. They failed in Gaza, and they failed as a state. Now is our time to do something. Raise your voice, protest, and take action. Spread this video out there. Thank you, and free Palestine.